OK, we're going to look at a slightly harder problem here um, where we really need to understand and be able to interpret a diagram that's given to us and find a required angle. Uh, the diagram shows the curve BC defined by the parametric equations x equals 5 log u and y equals 2u plus 2 over u, where u is going from 1 to 10. The point A lies on the x-axis and AC is parallel to the y-axis. The tangent to the curve at C makes an angle of theta with AC as shown. So first of all, what we need to do is find the lengths OA, OB and AC. Okay? So this is really interpreting uh, the equations and the curve. So really, what does this curve mean? Well, first of all, have a look at this. So x equals 5 log u, y equals 2u over plus 2 over u, where u is going between 1 and 10. Really, you need to interpret um, where its starting and end points are. So when u equals 1, where is it? OK, so when u equals 1, log of 1 is 0. So x will be 0. And y will be 2 times 1 plus 2 over 1, so 4. So 0, 4 is when u equals 1. So that must be that point there. OK, so this point is 0, 4. So as u is increasing, you might assume that we're going to be travelling along this curve. So by the time we get to u equals 10, we should be at this far point at c. So when u equals 10, we should have 5 log 10 as the x-coordinate, and the y-coordinate will be 2 lots of 10 plus 2 over 10. OK, so 2 times 10 plus 2 over 10, which is 101 over 5. OK, and that will be the coordinates of C. So it's really interpreting the equations and the diagram. So that means I can now write down the lengths OA. OK, so that horizontal distance is 5 log 10. OB is that vertical distance there, which is 4. And AC is that vertical distance there, which is the 101 over 5. OK? So that's really all about interpreting the equations. So next, find dy by dx in terms of u. OK, so that was A. Now for B. I'm going to need to find dx by du and dy by du. So, first of all, let me just rewrite x and y. So y is equal to 2u plus 2u to the minus 1. So dx by du will be the first derivative of this with respect to u, which is 5 over u. And dy by du will be 2 the d minus 1 comes down to the front, so minus 2, take 1 off the power to the minus 2. OK? So, dy by dx is dy by du times by du by dx, which is 1 over this. So that's u over 5. So let's tidy this up. Because we've now, if I multiply this bracket out with the u, I'd have 2u minus 2u to the minus 1 all over 5. Now, I don't like the negative power being in the, uh, inside the fraction, so I'd multiply top and bottom by u, giving me 2u squared minus 2 all over 5u. OK, so that is a preferable version of it. So 2u squared minus 2 over 5u. OK, so with that in mind, I can now work out what the gradient um, of the tangent to that curve at point C is. I can work out that gradient. And that would be by substituting u equals 10 
into this. So dy by dx is equal, oh sorry, at u equals 10 is equal to, well we're going to have two lots of 10 squared take away 2, so 198 in the numerator over 50. So that's 3.96, okay? That is the gradient at that point of the curve. Now, how am I going to use that to find the angle theta? Well, if I know the gradient of the curve, uh, the gradient of the line at that point, remember, I draw an axis here, okay? So let's imagine that's my line coming down, okay? This will make a right angle triangle. I know the gradient of that line is 3.96. Now, gradient is just difference in y divided by difference in x. Okay, so the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. Now, if this was an angle phi, then this would be my opposite side, and that would be my adjacent side. I know that 3.96 is the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's, which would be equal to, using my Sokotoa basic trigonometry, tan of the angle. So, that means that 3.96 must be tan of phi. So I can work out phi by finding the inverse tan of 3.96. Let's do that in degrees. Well, I haven't specified, but let's do it in degrees. So inverse tan of 3.96, and that's 75.8 degrees to 3 sig fig. So in other words, in this diagram, that's a right angle, and I've just worked out that that's 75.8 degrees for 3 sig fig. So I can work out theta as being 180, take away 90, take away 75.8. So 180, take away 90, take away my previous answer, and I get... 14.2 degrees to 3 sig fig. So that is the angle theta as required. So what I'm getting at here is it is very useful for you to be able to link the gradient of a tangent back to being tan of the angle as it meets the x-axis. Okay? This is a very useful thing to be able to do and will, be able, and will allow you to be able to access the top end questions.